video will be going through the unity robotics hub as you can see i have my unity open here and i have uh, installed and cloned the uh, unity uh, robotics hub uh, repository from git and so this is the, the, doc the documents that i followed through today i'll be demoing some of the stuff that i've done and which includes uh, how to communicate uh, between uh, unity and ROS to extract the uh, pick and place uh, trajectories to ROS. So in here, uh, I'm just going through a certain aspect of what you should have for your Unity versions as well as the ROS. So for uh, this project, I'm running the whole project in Ubuntu 20.04 that comes along with the uh, ROS Noetic and that is the version that is currently compatible with uh, for this project and for the Unity side, I'm currently using the 2020.3.11 uh, F1 so it is quite uh, specific on which version of Unity you should be uh, using for this project, it is uh, currently it is tested working for this version Alright, so let's just go over to the Unity. So in here, I've created a duplicate the scene. <coughs> yeah, so that I don't have to uh, make a new project when I want to do different stuff. So in here, for this first demo, I'll be showing you uh, how we can actually uh, deliver, publish this uh, trajectory of this object here. So in here, uh, in the ROS, when you install the whole ROS uh, Unity package uh, you it comes along with all these uh, messages that you can build and some of these messages actually communicates with a ROS but you have to do a few uh, few setups for it to work uh, for this demo here right I created an empty gate object which published the uh, targets and the target placement so this target here is actually the peak post of where the robot should go and this target placement is where the uh, robot will actually deliver the object to. So, so basically, the target here is a pick post, and then the target placement is the is a place post. <coughs> All right. So, without further ado, let's just go over to the to the demo. So, before uh, playing this click button here, uh, I should run this command first. So this is a terminal which I have traveled to this. Uh, this is the directory of the workspace, and I have sourced the yeah sourced the workspace. So we just have to run this command, right? So just Control Shift V, and then but before that, make sure that your Unity uh, in the robotics and raw settings. Make sure that you find your IP address because that is the TCP connection between the ROS and the Unity and over here under the source file the ROS TCP endpoint under the uh, I believe it's launch okay make sure that uh, you have copied your IP address your host name here before running the running this code so let's just click enter it will automatically uh, start the ROS call Alright, so once we are in this page, we can go to Unity. Okay, let's see how we can rearrange all this stuff. Alright, so let's just click play. And you see, it starts uh, starting the server. So all the connection, the handshake, everything is fine. Right, so if we click play here, we can actually uh, play with the uh, robot using our uh, directional keys here. So the left and right button is to actually select the links uh, that you want to control. So for example, this link one here, if I click the up and down button, it can actually you can actually play with the robot. See, so this acts as a simulation as well. Uh, similar to Arvis and Gazebo right so that's how it goes 
So if we click publish, we can actually extract the information of the pick post as well as the place post. So I've created a button here, like we're going to follow the tutorial. Right, if we click this, we can extract the pick post as well as the place post. I think one of the different aspects of Unity is its uh, axis because, okay, let's just go to the inspector of our target, uh, of our pick pick post first as you can see that okay so let's just take a look at the x y and z axis so the x is the same but for the y here so in unity the y is actually the uh, elevation so for the y here it's uh, it's actually the z axis in ROS and for the z-axis and for the z-axis in unity it is actually the y-axis in ROS so that is uh, the only difference between the ROS axis and the unity axis so that's why we have all these scripts here to actually uh, do a little bit of uh, data conversion from unity to ROS so there it is alright so that is it for demo 1 now we'll move on to demo 2. So the beauty about Unity is that you don't have to create a new uh, whole project. You can just uh, change uh, to a different scene with a different setup. So we'll, we won't be saving this because I need to use this later. So let's just go to the next scene here. So this is demo 2. And there's a different script that I use here compared to the demo one. But yeah, everything you can find in the in the tutorial here. So let's just go over to the demo first. Oh wait, okay, the title is wrong. Alright, go to the hierarchy. So for this uh, publisher, there's an additional a uh, script here which will actuate the robot to pick this object to the uh, place post so same thing again wait let me just uh, interrupt the terminal here control c okay exit because we'll be running a different code for the next demo so for the next demo here is actually uh, we should launch this part tree here so all the launch file is uh, it's under the uh, I think it's under here need to remove it under the launch file so these are actually as four of those so we have done two now we are going to do the third one which is the next demo alright so uh, same thing again Make sure that the script, the TCP endpoint, everything matches with the raw settings here in the Unity. Right? So, so the concept is actually pretty similar to just now. So Unity uh, communicates with raw, sends the coordinates, and then uh, actuates the robot. Alright, so let's just copy paste this, po uh, this command here. Copy. Oops, what's wrong? Control C. Right. Okay. So everything is established. Let's just go to over to the Unity and click play. Right. So handshake everything is fine. So, and then we can still play with all the links and joins, as you can see. So, but if we click this publish here, because we added the script here, it will actually, uh, it will actually the robot to pick, to do the pick and place. So, let's just click publish. Alright. So, Oops, it actually drops the, the box here. So we can actually click again and the robot will travel to the box to pick it up from where it left off. Ooh, 
okay I think that's close enough so what I, uh, I believe the problem was that uh, I changed the uh, the table I think the height uh, there is uh, something wrong with the offset So it just stays there. Let's just go hierarchy, go to the Nero. Where's the Nero? Then we click F. So, whoops. Yeah, so we have a problem right there. So the, the what I call it? The target placement is actually in collision with the table it should be above the thing so let's just give that a quick fix so we go to the scene table here we take the target placement and we can just copy it up upstairs here right so let's click save and then let's press play again so as you can see there is a yeah, when there's no connection click play again right it is actually smoother and much more responsive than Arvis and Gazebo Alright, so that is uh, okay. So that's done. Control C. Alright, so that is it for this uh, Robotics Unity Hub video, uh, demo video. So as you can see, we can do a lot of stuff uh, with Unity. Uh, we can do AR with it, and there's so many fun projects that we can do with this uh, Unity uh, integration with ROS. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, do hit the thumbs up uh, button and comment on the comment section down below. So thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.